what's up team? Today we're gonna be doing a super cool, super easy experiment with ivory soap and a microwave, which we have right there. So let's just jump right on into it. I think you guys are gonna love it. You can do this at home. But as you guys know, it's not cool just to hear me talk about it. So let's get to testing. We're gonna go through exactly how this experiment works, um, but a really cool test that you can do before we actually do the experiment with the microwave is showing the difference between ivory soap, dove soap, and dial soap. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this dial, this bar of dial soap in this water, and you can see what happens. It sinks right to the bottom. And with this dove soap right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and see what happens. Right to the bottom. So then I have this bar of ivory right here, and let's go ahead and put it in the water and see what happens. What? <laughs> it floats! And so there's a bunch of little micro, uh, like air pockets in this ivory soap, which allows it to float, where the other ones do not. I'm gonna break this apart and I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. And as you can see inside, if you can, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but it's different than regular soap. It's not like really monolith. If you look really, really closely, you can actually see some of the little dimples, some of the little air pockets. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this into four equal squares, like so. Like, you can't really do that, by the way, with regular soap. Nope, not breaking it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these right here um, and we're gonna stick these in the microwave for one minute on high. What? That's so crazy looking. Oh, here, foot. Look at, oh, whoa. It's looking like some cotton candy we got. We got 23 minutes to go, 20 or seconds, 21 seconds to go, and it's, oh boy, it's getting, it's getting feisty in there. Oh no, oh, it's so big. Oh no, okay, it's done, it's done, let's check it out. Oh wow, what, what? Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my Lord, that was the soap, look how big it is. Is it hot? Is it hot? Oh, oh it feel, oh it's really hot still. It doesn't feel like so. Gina, my girlfriend. What's up, girlfriend? Looks like like a paper towel. That's what it feels like. It feels like a paper towel. Let's bring it out of the microwave. <laughs> smells like burnt fragrance. Burnt fragrance. That's wow. Look at that. It's so light. So light and so fluffy. It's all dried up. But it still still feels like soap. Wash it. Wash your hands with that right there. Wash mm -hmm. your hands. See, this? See, yeah, see, see, can you, can you do it? Mm -hmm. Wash that hands, does it still work? Oh yeah, it went back to soap. Oh wow, just like that, boom. Just like that. And once you put it into the water, squeeze out all the air bubbles, you got, bat, you got soap again. So it's literally just, now we're back to soap. Just for comparison, I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these other bars of soap in here. So I'm gonna take this Dove, I'm gonna put it in the microwave for one minute on high, same thing. All right, well, we're about 15 seconds in. Doesn't look like much is happening in there. Doesn't appear to be doing anything per se. We got 10 more seconds, we got eight seconds. All right, so it looks like it's there's a little bit of bulge there. It looks like it's, you know, but it's not filling up the entire plate or anything. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay. A very dramatic difference between the ivory and the dove. Really hot soap, um, very, very hot soap, but uh, not, didn't do anything crazy like this one over here. I mean, this one kind of went bonanza. I mean, really just, you know, soap all over the place. It, it almost, you know, quadrupled in size. Okay, so you're probably wondering, Nick, uh, why did the one soap, the ivory soap, expand so much and then the Dove did not at all? So in the beginning of this video, a little test we did, um, the same reason that the ivory soap floats is the same reason that it expands in their microwave. And that's because inside of that soap, there's these little air pockets. And in the, in the air pockets, there is water. And when that water gets really hot, 
it starts to expand. So uh, this is a really good example of Charles Law, which states that gases that get hot expand in volume. So that air water mixture that's trapped as a little bubble inside the soap uh, when it gets hot, because microwaves are really good, what microwaves do is they basically vibrate water molecules and that friction from the vibrating water molecule turns into heat. So with a little bit of water that is trapped inside of those air pockets that is then creating this uh, water gas mixture. So it's kind of like steam, like little tiny pockets of steam and they're expanding inside of the soap. And so we end up with this big giant mass of ivory soap. Um, one thing to note too is that uh, it was really difficult to see inside of the actual microwave itself. There's this really, there's this protective outer uh, grating. Um, we're actually going to be working on a separate video series where we figure out how to film inside of a microwave safely or kind of safely. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, were you super surprised one, that uh, ivory soap does that, and two, uh, the reason why ivory soap uh, expands like this. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys really soon.